Iowa. With the Lumen Technologies service disruptions yesterday, multiple businesses had to get creative. Local 5's Laura Bowen talked to a local business and a debit card network to better understand how Iowa was impacted. Sunflower chef catering was one of the businesses impacted. They tell me it definitely added some stress to their day. Julie Heathcote and her team started noticing issues around lunchtime Thursday. The online invoicing system they typically use wasn't working and neither were in person transactions. They ended up thankfully being able to write a check. The most frustrating part, however, was phone disruptions. Incoming calls were being sent to voicemail and they couldn't make outgoing calls either. I'm always on the go. So I have to use my phone and you know, I think they say the average person spends like six hours on their phone. <laughs> Half of mine is about for work related things. Sunflower chef catering wasn't the only business having to make do. We all had a staff outing yesterday mm -hmm. and even the place we went, uh, we had to fill out some waivers and so you know, they couldn't even access that and they couldn't get their radio to work. Shazam, a debit card network and debit card processor says that the communication systems interruptions seem to be on and off. You could be at a point of sale in West Des Moines and have your card declined and then standing at an ATM across the street and have it go through and then five seconds later at the same point of sale machine the transaction went through. These kinds of disruptions can interfere with ATMs, card payments at shops, and Apple Pay. Shazam says that due to them having alternative routes for transactions, it ended up being a pretty average day for them. Heathcote tells me it's one of those things that you don't really know what you have till it's gone, so she's really happy that everything is back up and running per usual. Laura Bowen, Local 5 News. And as of 1230 a.m. today, almost all services had been restored.